Big Al and welcome to Big Al Sports World. We're here with non-league the lead, or sorry, non-league the Premier League. I'll rephrase that, thank you very much, with Kirsten Ashton. Today we're up against Leamington. Now, originally the plan was I did a recording for SC United, but obviously you guys were last with us against Chester. Now, Obviously, you can see we beat Chester 3-1 because you've seen that. I did do a recording for the game against SC United, but for some reason, I used new recording software and it looked awful. It was all skippy, jumpy, my voice was all over the place, blah, blah, blah. So, let's catch you up then. So, due to you missing the video against SC United, and also you've missed the journeyman, ser journeyman video, so I'm going to have to re-record that at some stage too for this week. So we drew two each with Salford, thankfully. Then we lost 3 2 in the FA Cup proper against Tamworth, with Ira Lawton scoring a 92nd minute goal to make it more respectable. We then drew with Soho Moors and Bradford PA. We lost in the FA Trophy to Harrogate. I don't know what it is about the FA, but we just can't seem to play well in cups. Then we went on a four game winning spree. We beat ASC Telford 4 1, Southport 5 0, Spennymoor 1 0. The game that I recorded, you guys didn't get to see because it was awful and this, the commentary was like way before the video and it was missing all the action and it was just awful. So I scrapped my new recording software and went back to my old one. So at least I know it works. So we beat so SC United by two goals to one with Almeida and Palmer getting the goals. We then drew one each with Sturbridge. Then we beat Kettering 2-0, which is a great result. We drew two each with Bliff and... Don't ask me how I lost this game. We lost 2-1 to Gainsborough. We dominated it, but as you can see, 6.0 ratings is not ideal. But then we come out against a stronger team like Darlington, and we beat them 3-0. Now, what I have realised is, if a team is playing with three, playing the 4-2-3-1 formation, we can't seem to play against it with our 4-3-3 Diamond formation. So, we're up against Leamington today, who, way, way back at SC United, were second in the league, um, with a given hand over us. Now, as we look at the Van Rama National League North, you can see how things have all changed. So, Kidderminster are now joint top with, Ch with Chester. We've lost one game more than them, and drew one game less, where they have drawn seven each. And they've won one more game. Now, we have a game in hand, because our game against Alferton was postponed. So we have a game in hand, so technically if we can beat Leamington today and beat Alfredon, that would give us six points, that would put us off with 54 points, would put us top of the league. So ideally, three points today would put us back up here. We'd actually put us top, wouldn't it? No, I'd be one point behind at that point. I'd be one point behind, but we have the superior goal difference over everybody in the division. And it's so, so tight. Like, all the way down to, like, almost 11th can literally get in, with a couple of games, can literally get in this top half of the table. We're in the second half of the season. We're in February, so this transfer window's closed. We brought in one player on loan, which was Nick, which was, oh, what do you call him? Barnby on loan. He's a left midfielder because we've only got Alito, and obviously we go to four four two. Alito has been keeps getting injured, so our plan are running out of energy very quick. So we needed a cover for him. So we got the uh, young Barnby comes in on loan. So today we're up against Leamington, who are down in sixth. Hopefully we can pick up three points, but obviously Chester and Kidderminster are both playing, and they got Workington and Spenny Moore. Benny Moore are in the playoffs, so they'll want to hold on to it. So that might be a good game for Chester. Hopefully they'll lose. Hopefully Kidderminster can lose and put us one point behind. So you want to know what the squad is going to be today. Let me just find it for you. So we've reverted back to our... They're playing 4-4-2. We're playing our diamond formation. So today we've got Gokic and Goal, Booker, Downing, Donnellan, and Adu on the left with Almeida, Gleeson, and Grant in the midfield with Baxter... David off and Lofts up front. On the bench, we got the loony Jack Barnby, who we brought in the last day of the transfer window on loan. Young Jack Barnby. Um, he doesn't look too bad, actually. He looks pretty decent for a winger. And he can play in the midfield right, so he can cover both Alito and Jack Hartley. 
So that's a bonus for the 442 formation. But look at them stats. I would love to bring him in permanently. He is up for sale, but we just don't have the finances at the minute. But hopefully next season we will because we're going to lose a lot of these players because um, the contracts are up. We won't be renewing them because we're going to cut the, the budget right the way down as much as we can. And hopefully we'll have a couple of K that we can sign like a Jack Barnby in. and Because he'd be a great addition to this team. So on the bench we've got Barnby, we got Lawton, we got Hartley, Palmer and Brady. We're playing attacking because that's what we do in this formation. We go all on attack. Flexible with retain possession, exploit the middle, get stuck in, be more disciplined and higher tempoed. So... Let's see if we can uh, take three, po three points off Leamington. If things are going well, we can switch to the 4-4-2. We have the players on the bench to do that formation. It's just a matter of dropping Almeida off the pitch. And that's really it, really. Well, Almeida and probably Grant off the pitch and bring on the two wingers. So as you can see, they're playing 4-4-2. We're playing the 4-3-3 diamond formation as I call it and hopefully we can pick up uh, the nice three points that we require and straight from kickoff um, hopefully in two weeks we will have our new graphics card which will be amazing and we won't have any more jumpy graphics we will literally be back on the desktop Woo because it's round to go it's just downloading all my games from my other channel for Al's Gaming so we can start doing those games on there with the likes of Dark Souls and that so that's going to be an interesting one for sure free kick to us Baxter finds Gleason. what will Gleason do? oh he's played it w way wide for Baxter Baxter keeps it in play he swings it in but that was a terrible ball it looks like Lemmy's going to come in the counter attack I do get in there he just pumps it in. Can David Off get there? David Off does. What will he can he do? He swings it in. Grant. Grant the Gleason. Oh, Gleason. What are you doing? And here comes a counter attack from Lemington. And corner to Lemington. A spinning mirror one nil up. That's good news. Baxter with the header out. That might give our team a bit of encouragement. Oh. They hit the bar, Lemington. Now, we beat Lemington the last day of the last season by a goal and nil. But so far, it's been all them. And the good news is that Chester 1 nil down to Spenny Moore with Booker with a throw in. Almeida. D. Almeida. David off. Can he find Baxter? He does. Baxter, Almeida. Gleason. Gleason. Oh, great save. David off. Oh, double save from the keeper. Oh, no, hit the post. Oh, my word. The Nash should be 1 nil up right there. Baxter with a free kick. Jose Baxter oh, over the bar. Whew. Chance after chance here by the Nash. Free kick to Lemington now. Can we clear it? Get the counter attack going. Because remember, we're playing an attacking style today, but. I don't... Free kick, Grant this time. Can we hit the target? No. David off. Plays it all the way back to Adu. And now. Can we up and win? Downing does. David Off picks up the loose ball. David Off beats his man. Plays in a beautiful ball. Laughs. Oh, great defender. But David Off's there again. Oh, blasts it wide now. Come on, Anash. So both Chester and Kidderminster are losing. And we're drawing. It's not ideal. And again, Lemington blast it wide. Come on, Anash. We need up three points. And Lemington come again. Chester being spanked 4 1 now. Kidderminster are still losing 1 0, but we're down to fifth. Thanks to goals for Bliff and SC Telford. Baxter fights David off. Can we get a goal? Oh, David off. Come on. I'm thinking about changing this to 4 4 2. As we get stretched in the back and Gocking with a fantastic save. And there's a corner now to Lemington. It's like half time we're changing this to 4 4 2 to see if we can get back in this because Bliff and Tail Telford are winning and they're above us now. Gleason with the header out, but it only goes to a bang. He hits to the left for an easy for Gok Geek. We've changed it to 4 4 2. We're taking uh, Baxter and Grant off because they were both playing awful. 
And we will see now if that makes a change. And Gleason straight away, beautiful ball to David off, but he can't play it on. Gleason, he finds Almeida. Almeida, back to Gleason. Inside the look loss, who we haven't seen this game. David off, back to look loss. Loss, oh! Great save by the keeper. Unbelievable. We need three points. The company were down to fifth. That's how tight this table is. Hartley whips it in. They get their clearance away. Can David off pick it up? He can. Now can we still attack? Down the line to Hartley. He looks inside to Barnby on his debut. Barnby with a great cross. Oh, no one there. And it's gone out of play for a throw in for Leamington. Oh. Final five minutes. Demanding the push forward. Hartley, oh, I can't get on the end of it. And here come Leamington again. Downing picks up the loose ball. What's he going to do with it? Don't pass it back. Oh, my word. That was a shocking clearance. Can you just pump it? Oh, dude, with a big clearance. Lofts. Can he play Palmer in? No, he cannot. Oh, defended by Leamington. And here come Leamington again. They pump it over the top. It's a fantastic ball. Oh, we lose this. It's a penalty. Oh, no, we lose this. It's going to blow our league chances. This will blow our league chances. Wasn't not get it was given. If they score this, this blows our league. This knocks us clean out of the water. Gokeg with a big save! Come on, Gokeg! And then a fantastic challenge and Gleason picks up the loose ball! We've got game in hand, another goal kick to Leamington. Final two minutes of the game plus stoppage. Up and win! Come on, Palmer, you gotta get there, kid. Your fresh legs, come on. And here come Leamington again. Since we went to 4-4-2, they seem to be controlling it a bit better. Booker, but he's just giving it away again. We're giving the ball away non-stop. Just not good enough here. Barnby, Loss. Oh, terrible ball by Loss. Gleason picks it up, though. Plays it out wide. Barnby, can he find Loss? It's going to be Palmer. Palmer, Hurley! Oh, he's put it wide! Oh! Chance after chance after chance! And our free kick to Leamington later on with the final three minutes as well, and they blasted it wide. Come on, the Nash! We need a loop winner! And this is it, guys. We're over three minutes. We're coming at four. There you go. Not what we wanted. Kidderminster lost. Cursed it. Kidderminster lost. Chester lost. That should have been three points I'm not happy with it all that that was our chance to um, to leapfrog well to get up there and then in the next game if we beat Alfredton to leapfrog them because we play Alfredton two days that was our chance to leapfrog and be top of the league by top by two points look at that Chester would be at 6-2 and Kidderminster lost 1-0. And of course the Nash have to go out and feckin' draw yet again. We're now down to 5th from 3rd. Because Bliff won 2-0. And ASC Telford I believe won 2-1. They did. So we're down to 5th in the table. Game in hand. That'll put us even on points. But we got better goal difference. So if we can beat Alfredton. Who are just outside the playoffs. So they've got a lot to play for Alfredton. And did they win? No they drew 0-0. With Salford. So if we can beat Alfredton, we will leapfrog the top of the league by goal difference. But that's not what I wanted. Well, guys, thank you very much for coming and joining us for this. Apologies again for the lack of videos. I um, was trying to wait the desktop video card coming. I did do recordings on the desktop and on the laptop. But with the new recording software, it looked crap, basically. I'm not going to throw out really, really crap content. I know with a laptop, it's a bit jumpy, but at least it's decent decent enough to watch. You can't, don't have to worry about uh, literally it going frame by frame by frame by frame. And then my voice has already gone past it 20 million times. So guys, if you've enjoyed this one, hit the like, thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, you don't want to miss out on any of the football manager content or any other content we display on this channel hit the subscribe button and then you'll get all your notifications whenever we upload videos cheers guys have a lovely day thanks bye